in today's tutorial i'm going to show you six 3d options infographics slide in powerpoint and you can use this slide for a variety of purposes so let me just show you how the slide works when i click you can see here uh, first uh, outer ring comes and then i've created a 3d object here and i've added the icon at the top of this one with the shadow effect and you can add your own title and detailed text here on my next click you can see here the size increases with a different icon then it keeps on increasing the size you can see here so this is the last option so you can do this one in this way or you can just do with the same size also something like this or you can just add something like this also some more uh, uh, shapes you can add it on top of that one so it's up to you whichever way you want you can use this uh, slide add a new slide and change the background color to sky blue color then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape just click the oval shape you get this much size and if you want to change the size maybe i can change to 1.2 the height and 1.2 the width and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select white color here then i'm going to give a 3d look for that let me just go to the effects go to 3d rotations from preset i'm going to select this one which is isometric top up so you can see here it turns something like this but still this is not a 3d to make it 3d look like so i have to go to 3d format you can see here depth i can just go and increase maybe i can just say 30 you can see here and then i can go and change this the contour and uh, sorry the material and the lightning so this one lighting i can just select maybe this and the material i can go and select this powder so it looks something like this i feel the size is somewhat small let me just select this go to format and i'm going to make it maybe 1.5 the height and width you can see here this is perfect size and then I'm going to give a one, uh, one more uh, border here for this press control D to duplicate this and I'm going to fill the color or the shape outline maybe any color I can choose something like this you can see here shape fill make it no fill so it looks something like this then what I'm going to do effects you can see here the depth the depth I'm going to make it zero so it looks something like this. If you want you can just increase one or two also not a problem and then i can make this one instead of 1.5 i can make it 1.8 also so it it looks more bigger you can see here and then bring it here and then send this to back so you can see here it looks something like this The next thing I'm going to do here is to add the icons or if you don't have the icons you can add the text also. So let me just go to insert click on the icons and I'm going to select some random uh, icon for example I'm just going to select this click insert and I can go and change the color to any color of my choice and the height and width I'm going to make it as 0.5 you can see here let me just zoom in and then i can go to the effects and i can give some shadow effect go to presets scroll down and under perspective you can just select perspective upper left you can see here and if you want you can just change the distance you can just change the angle you can increase the reduce the transparency level so many things you can do with this one so once this is done i'm going to bring this and just put it on top of this oval shape and then the next one is i'm going to add the text so before adding the text you can just select this one you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and you can add one by one here you can see here so how many you want you can add those number of uh, oval shapes again depending on your requirements so one way you can just do something like this the other way you can in keep on uh, incrementing the uh, the size of uh, the the oval shape for example let me just select this you remember we have given this one the depth is 30 maybe i want to give give a 50 you can see here and i'm just going to select this and i'm going to make it here so this one i'm going to 50 we have given i'm going to give 70 for this 
so it becomes more bigger again I'm just so this one 70 from I want to give say 95 so this is 95 you can see here and this one I want to give maybe 125 you can see here this is 125 so this way you can just add it if you want to add more then you have to reduce the spacing between these uh, bars and then let's add the text go to insert text box you can just add a title here again center align or make it left align only you can make it bold sorry uh, a black color bold and then i'm going to change the font to century gothic here and then you can add some detailed text again this one also i'm going to make it century gothic the fonts color i'm going to make it gray reduce the size you can see here and then both I'm going to select press ctrl G ctrl D to duplicate just add one by one against each option you can see here something like this you can add the options now if you want to do the animation you can do it a simple uh, animation which I'm going to show you let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane first of all i'm going to select this the outer circle you can see here and i'm going to give the color uh, the animation as fade you can see here the fade one and then i'm going to give this 3d bar the wipe effect you can see here and this should happen after previous and then the icon i'm going to use fly in fly in maybe i can make it from top you can see here something like this and then this one i can give again maybe a wipe effect something like this and so this also after previous and this one is also after previous now if i play you can see here the animation is a little bit slow so i'm going to fast the animation so i'm just going to select all this animation by holding the shift key again right mouse click effect options go to the timings you can see here duration 0.5 second very fast i'm going to make it 0.3 seconds maybe you can see here it is very fast now now if i want i can just go to the this one the icons and increase the bounce end here so it looks something like this you can see here so if i play it comes something like this now it's easy for me using the animation painter i can just do that one so i'm going to select this animation painter click on this you can see here then second I'm going to select this then third I'm going to select this and then I'm going to select this so again if I play you can see here it comes something like this so you can use the animation painter to copy the animation to the rest of the shapes That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.